Uren van der Sloot entered a not guilty plea in federal court in Birmingham. He is charged with extortion and wire fraud for soliciting money from Beth Holloway, Natalie Holloway's mother. Prosecutors say the promise was for $250,000, he would reveal the location of Natalie Holloway's remains in Aruba. Good afternoon. Van der Sloot waived his right to a detention hearing, so he will remain in custody pending his trial. Natalie Holloway's parents and brother were in the courtroom this morning, and so was ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould. Cynthia, this day has been a long time coming for the Holloway family. It sure has. It's been 18 years now since Natalie Holloway disappeared on a senior trip in Aruba. Today, a whirlwind of emotions for the family as they saw Vandersloat in person. He arrived at federal court this morning, escorted by U.S. Marshals. Vandersloat was handcuffed, wearing a white T-shirt when he entered that courtroom. A spokesperson for Natalie's family calling it surreal, chilling, unbelievable. Vandersloat was offered an interpreter, but declined saying he spoke perfect English. The hearing lasted all of five minutes. The judge advised Vandersloat of his rights, explained the charges, and formally appointed a public defender. We never gave up hope that this day would be possible, so we're hopeful that uh, this process will bring forward more information and we can have some uh, justice that's desired. George Seymour says under this agreement with Peru, this temporary extradition is set to last a year but could possibly go to two years. He believes this case will move quickly with the prosecution having a very strong case. Pam? Cynthia, you and I have been here since the beginning of this 18 years ago when it broke. Although Euron van der Sloot is finally charged in a U.S. court, the family truly is no closer to answers about finding their daughter's remains. But it is hope through this court process, maybe, just maybe, van der Sloot, who has always been the chief suspect in Natalie's disappearance, will talk and reveal something that is truthful. Uh, Cynthia, you were in the courtroom this morning, and we have all watched van der Sloot in interviews over these years. Many times he sort of had that smirk when he was talking about the night that Natalie Holloway disappeared. I'm curious, was that same kind of cockiness present as he stood in court this morning? No, not at all. He did not even look toward the large crowd when he walked into the courtroom. He answered the judge's questions with yes, sir, and that was it. Cynthia Gould reporting.